What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we got something very special. The brand new Volcanic support is indeed here. So the brand new Volcanic gameplay. And really quick, I know a lot of people want to know just, is the deck, is it like a trash tier deck? No, it's actually quite good. Uh, it has insane consistency. The new Trooper lets you add any Volcanic card from your deck to your hand and Rocket lets you add the Blaze Accelerator. So what is like the core combo that you're trying to go for turn one? Well, they actually have a boss monster that can actually be summoned from the graveyard, which is really easy to get out by banishing a Blaze Accelerator or you can actually just summon it by uh, banishing three pyro monsters from the graveyard or technically the hand. But so you just dump that card and you'll have instant access to a boss monster. Now the boss monster is pretty good, um, but on top of that, you have a few disruptions slash negations. So the archetype is pretty good because once you bust out this card, it lets you set a volcanic inferno pretty much. I mean, you can go for other cards, but it's any, uh, the effect is any volcanic trap. So uh, volcanic infernos are another brand new card. So what does this card do? When your opponent activates a monster effect on the field, you banish a pyro monster from from your graveyard and then you're gonna burn them for 500 points of damage then if you banish a volcanic boss you can negate that activated effect so it's able to go ahead and act as a disruption and then during your opponent's end phase you can target up to two of our volcanic monsters that are banished or in your graveyard and you place them at the bottom of the deck in any order so that lets you recycle a lot of things like scatter shot which lets you regeki your opponent as a potential surprise prank or you can recycle your shells for whatever uh, you need to go for so it doesn't seem super op oh and also Volcanic Emperor also has this effect where anytime your opponent special summons, they take 500 points of burn damage. Um, and it's really easy to get out, obviously, but unless, again, some burn damage going to be activated. And the thing that makes this deck really good is you have a lot of mechanics where, like, it's kind of hard to maybe read unless you look at their graveyard and you understand how the deck actually works. So, another 500 points of burn damage. And Sunlight Wolf is great. It lets you add any uh, fighter monster from your graveyard back to your hand. So, you can see right there, there is the effect of Scattershot. If you guys don't know what Scattershot does, well, it's a pretty good card. Uh, if it's sent to the graveyard, you get to burn your opponent for 500. And if it's sent to the graveyard by the effect of a Blaze Accelerator card, you get to send two Volcanic scatter shots from your hand and or deck the graveyard and destroy all monsters your opponent controls. So it regekis uh, your opponent on potentially their turn or it can do it on your turn. So you get to burn them for 1500 points of damage. And then as soon as this card comes out, you get to burn your opponent for 500 damage for each of your banished pyro monsters, which at the minimum for the summon requirement is three. Uh, and then potentially you get to burn him for enough damage. So he had a GG out on this one because he, on top of that, had a Volcanic Inferno. He knew it, he added it. So he can't really do it too much. And the next play is going to be pretty insane as well. So shout out for Star for that uh, deck profile. I'll give you guys both different deck profiles. Uh, this one is going to be uh, Nervon's uh, play over here. Uh, so I kept this relatively simple. Now there is a few different Volcanic builds that you can play. There is like a um, Cyber or there is a like nimble uh, variant of the deck. Both are actually going to be pretty dang good. You guys are seeing the sprite. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna call it sprite build. I'm just a bunch of like level two slash rank two plays that you can make in the deck, which actually extend the combos even further. It's kind of a little bit more of an advanced one. The last one was kind of more pure, but uh, this is gonna show off what it can do. And I was actually really surprised by the ending of the end of this gameplay here. So, anyways, he goes ahead and activates. Uh, card destruction but obviously there was the ash which uh, you can't really let the dark worlds get that card off but watch what the dark world player ends up doing we still have a volcanic inferno remember this has the ability to banish a pyro and then you get to potentially um negate that activated effect so and you get some burn damage too so it's like a nice little bonus and again remember with scatter shot you can potentially regeki your opponent so the new uh, volcanic blaze accelerator what it does is you send a blaze accelerator from your hand or deck or face up on the field to the graveyard you can only control one of them, but it lets you splash summon another volcanic monster. And then also, once per turn, you target a face-up monster opponent controls. You send a level 1 pyro monster from your deck to the graveyard, and then you get to pop it. Do you know what's a level 1 in the deck? Volcanic Shell. So it's, like, really good. It's kind of a brick sometimes if you draw it. But at the end of the day, uh, there's a lot of other cards that can make use out of just getting rid of that card. So I was looking at this play, and I was like, dude, there's no way he's coming back from this. Surprisingly, um, this deck can come back from just a few cards, because remember... That boss monster can be spell summoned from the graveyard, and then you potentially can burn your opponent for a bunch of damage. If you don't recycle some of the cards with some of the other brand newer support, and you just let your card stay banished, I mean, every two is 1,000 points of damage. And once that card comes out, if your opponent has no monsters, they're obviously going to at some point need to special summon. So, uh, with that in mind, uh, yeah, if your opponent is really low life points, they are not going to be able to special summon when you have your boss monster out on the board. So, we've got a Nightmare Phoenix over here. We got Danger Bigfoot, we got Saryuja, 
We got Jack Lope. Uh, Cerulli is indeed here. Cerulli, uh, pretty good being able to count as your opponent's uh, discarding effect. Goes ahead and makes a, another Saryuja. Going to go ahead and cycle more cards, drawing two cards. And like, I was like, dude, this is so crazy. How is he going to come back from this? He still has 7,000 life points, so uh, Nirvana is not out of the game yet. He also gave him Cerulli because he wanted that bonus effect. So it's going to actually act as some protection. So this is another newer card uh, that I want to mention. So this is Fire Ejection. You send a Pyro monster from your deck to the graveyard. And if it's a Volcanic, you could apply one of these effects. So you get to inflict damage to your opponent times its level times up 100. So uh, with the brand new monster, I believe it is at level 8. So you can burn your opponent uh, for... 800 points of damage just in case you need that small amount of damage this could come in clutch or you just throw some a bomb token to um, your opponent's field and when the token is destroyed its controller takes 500 uh, extra points of damage it also gives your opponent a card so potentially if they like can't control a certain monster or like you what you what i've seen a lot of people actually do is use like gozen and or reverie and then they'll lock your opponent out because they'll be all like, oh, you control this so keep that in mind as well so he's gonna now send the volcanic and he's going to go for scatter shop inflicting the uh, extra bonus points of damage so now rocket's going to go ahead and activate blazing slot reload he's going to activate that effect of uh the brand new volcanic emperor bring it out 2500 points of damage remember as soon as it comes out they take 500 per uh banished pyro monster and on top of that uh every time they special summon he's going to take a uh damage of 500 now you can only special summon it once per turn uh but he just gg'd his opponent right there he actually went for dark the uh, um, Charmer over here and actually brought back the other card just to do a massive amount of damage. So that was a really good play over there. Now, I'll give you guys two different builds in case you guys want to try them, uh, but there is another Cyburst variant that I've seen. Uh, there's a few different ways you can play the deck. Obviously, you guys get to choose the one you want, but shout out to Nirvana for the first, uh, the one you guys just watched, and then Star Overhead for the other one. I'll give you guys uh, both deck profiles as you guys have seen. Um, there's not really anything that I need to mention that I haven't mentioned from the deck, um, but I did want to try a build and it might not really have very much synergy but if you could potentially go for a uh, flare metal dragon and go for the new boss monster this new boss monster is super easy to bust out by the way so if you can go for emperor plus flare metal i mean this is flare metal by the way it is a um exceed monster uh this one makes it so your opponent also takes uh Anytime your opponent activates a card or effect. So pretty much with these two up on the board, remember this card comes out, it usually burns for uh, 1500 points. And then at some point you'll usually burn your opponent for 500. So you get like 2000 damage right off the bat. And then if you have both this and this up on the board, that means they can only go for so many plays before they are actually GG'd. And remember, you always have the option for Volcanic Scattershot to inflict another 1500 points of damage and you can regeki your opponent, but this might be kind of pushing up. It's just something I, I had in the back of my head for like ideas. There's not any real easy way to make it. Oh, you know, there is a card I, I needed to touch upon really quick uh, before I give you guys the other deck profile. I didn't get to talk about it because the gameplay was kind of fast, but um, this is Volcanic Rimfire. There's another brand new card, and if this card is sent to the graveyard, you get to activate one of these effects. So you banish it from the graveyard, and then you get to send another Volcanic Monster from your deck to the graveyard, except for itself. You can also banish a Blaze Accelerator card from your uh, face-up field or graveyard, and then you get to place a Blaze Accelerator continuous spell slash trap from your hand or deck uh, face-up on the field, and you can only use uh, each effect of it once per turn. So that's the other newer card. I didn't get to touch upon it, uh, but uh, there is is uh, this card also where you can banish one, then you get to uh, burn your opponent, and then you can negate the effect if it was a uh, Volcanic Monster, which, I mean, if you're playing Volcanics. So basically, this is the, the uh, build that has been a little bit more popular, I would say. It's definitely got more combo plays if you play the Splite Engine uh, over here with the Nimble. But uh, the other build over here was just straight up pure like Volcanics, which I think is going to be more fan favorite uh, for people that are more in the nostalgia era. But I definitely think both builds are good. The Cybers build's a little bit weird. I will cover it, but I think I want to dedicate a video towards that specific build. As you guys see, I've got tons of Volcanic replays. So if you are brand new here and you do want to see a lot more Volcanics in the future uh, in terms of like the different builds, and this is your first time here, make sure you guys just sub with the bell noting on. And also I'll include the downloads via the Discord in case you guys want to download any of the decks profiles but take care and i'll see you in the next video and let me know your thoughts on the brand new volcanics peace out